She's an inspiration to Alicia, myself, and millions of women worldwide. Um, she's an author, an activist. Her latest book, Untamed, was released in March and has already sold over one million copies. I am two of those. Please <laughs> welcome Glennon Doyle, everybody. Yes. Okay, so first of all, hello. But I, I love that you two actually already know each other, right? We do. We're connected. We do. Well, I have. Yes, deeply connected. I've actually been deeply connected to Alicia for decades, but she just found out about it a couple years ago. Our, <laughs> we just started the two-way friendship recently. It's just been me singing her songs and crying in the shower for many, many years until now. That's all of us. Oh. Yeah. But Glennon, so many people have read Untamed, especially people that I know, um, and they, they found inspiration. But for people not familiar, what is it about? What would you say if you had to give a synopsis? Well, uh, the storyline, the main storyline going through it is when I was I was in a broken marriage to a good man, and that is a hard place for a woman to be because we're supposed to be grateful for what we have, and good enough is supposed to be good enough. Um, but uh, as that marriage, as we were struggling to kind of find some unbrokenness, I fell madly in love with a woman. And um, I don't know, when I met her, this part of me rose up that I had abandoned a long time ago, and I just was faced with this kind of life or death situation, it felt like. Like, am I going to abandon this self um, because I'm too afraid to rock the boat of my life? Mm -hmm. Or am I going to abandon everyone else's expectations of me and honor myself for the first time in my life? Yeah, I love, um, Alicia's I freaking did. out right now. I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> And you did, you did. I you, did you, you, honor myself. You did Me Time 7. That's one of her new songs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Um, when we do finally honor ourselves, we have been trained to believe that that will somehow hurt our people and sometimes it makes them uncomfortable at first. But what happens when we honor ourselves is we give permission to everyone else in our families and our lives to honor themselves also. Yeah. So it's a freedom that is contagious. Yeah, what a great domino effect, yes. So, Glenn, we, we have an important election in less than three weeks, and Alicia and I were talking a little bit about, you know, just what's happening in the world right now. Um, I will say I, I heard I have totally stalked you online. I've seen everything, and I know all your story. <laughs> but one thing I love that you talk about, and it, I think it was actually a couple years ago, maybe even that you first started talking about, but people were like, oh my gosh, 2020 is going to be the detriment of it. I'm like, it's gonna, everything is horrible. It's the apocalypse. And, and I loved that you said it takes sometimes that deconstruction, that, that blowing up of things to actually sort out all the crap that's actually wrong. Are you hopeful or are you still kind of like, oh my gosh, like what's happening? Two things, I mean, I uh, use the word apocalypse. Apocalypse means uncovering, yep. right? So in terms of what this time is doing, none of this, none of this that's happening, none of this injustice and inequality is new at all, right? Which is why, my activist friends aren't the ones saying, oh my God, 2020 is the worst. They're actually feeling hopeful because this is all of this inequality has been going on for a very long time. It's just that now people are finally seeing it because of the apocalypse uncovering of COVID. Um, as to whether I'm hopeful or not, I heard Stacey Abrams say the other day, someone said, are you hopeful? And she said, I am neither hopeful nor pessimistic. I am determined. Ooh. And I love that so much because as someone who's sober, I, am, I rely on what I can control, and I know what I can't control is outcome. So pessimism and optimism are relying on outcome. But determinism, being determined, that all has to do with our input, how we're showing up, right? So what I know is I am determined over the next uh, weeks to get every single untamed woman I know to refuse being gaslit, to know what she knows, feel what she, she feels, and to show up at the, uh, at the polls. I yeah. third. Amen. Alicia, how, how are you how are you feeling about everything like voting and everything? You, I, I know I know that everybody was gets frustrated with people in the in the music world, the art world, and they're like, just you know, be artistic. And I'm like, yes, but also like I'm not pushing my views on you, but you have to realize how I think because we've traveled, we see how lucky we are, how fortunate we are to be able to vote. I don't know, I feel like it's kind of your duty as an American citizen to say something like that, you know? I mean, it is. It is all of our responsibility. It's all of our opportunity, and and definitely, it is. It is. It, it, it's something that we all should feel really, actually, excited mm. and 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 passionate 
about, you know, and we can all learn so much more. I think that's one thing that I think about a lot. You don't have to know it all. I think that's one of the things that feels intimidating. You're like, whoa, I'm not sure, and how about this? And it's okay that you don't know it all, and it's okay to actually start to learn more. I think that's something that I'm asking my friends and, and family and also just, you know, anybody who's, who's connecting with me. Um, like, let's take a moment to actually dig into the parts we don't know. Let's dig into the parts of the ballad that maybe we are a little bit insecure about or the names that we're not so so clear about or the policies that maybe don't make perfect sense or mm -hmm. that we didn't take the time to look into enough yet. It's okay. It's all a growing process and it's all a part of actively being a human being, mm -hmm. you know, and actively being able to be a participant in what this whole thing looks like. You know what I mean? This is up to us. This is not something where it's like, oh, we're going to hope that that one guy or woman does the thing, no. One person can't do anything all by themselves. Mm -hmm. We all need to show up. We have to show up for our families, for our own kids, for our sisters and brothers, for our communities. Because if we're not showing up, no one else is gonna be like, oh, hey, what's happening in your spot? Because I care so much about you. No, we have to care about ourselves. Yeah. We have to care about ourselves enough to show up. So it's less about that they're gonna do all this stuff and what and, and we got to show up for us you know less about them more about us and let's learn about what we can so that we can align with people that have similar beliefs and thoughts but man this is for us we gotta we gotta do this um thank you so much glennon and thank you alicia y'all are thank you for being open and honest um that kind of rawness is so rare in this world in the public eye so i really appreciate it and and i'm lifting both of you up and everybody pick up untamed by glennon doyle um i absolutely love this book and it's it's available everywhere. Also pick up Alicia, her new album Alicia's out right now.